Hey, hello. I'm Isaac from allroundreview.com. So today we're going to be showing you guys some cool, awesome features on Chrome you probably didn't know about. So let's dive into it. So we're going to open our Chrome on Android here. So what we're going to search for is um, our Chrome flag. So Chrome flags are experimental features that are not part of the default Android experience. So these are where all the whole experimental features Google are testing every day are being stored. So if you know Google, they are always testing new things. Whatever you enable here could actually not be here tomorrow. It could become part of the default Android experience tomorrow. So but anything that is not enabled by default on Chrome is always enabled here by users if they want to. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, tab groups. So tab groups actually helps you sort and organize your tabs into groups, makes your work looks clean and nice. So the second option I have here is a tab groups. So I'm just going to enable that. And the first one here is a tab grid layout. You will want to enable this if you want your tab groups to look a little bit different. If you want to put some styles to it. Like I'm going to enable this uh, last option here, enable search term chip. So you can actually enable any one based on your preference. You can play around with them to know which one you like. So I'm going to enable that. And with every group, uh, Chrome flag you enable, you have to relaunch Chrome. It's always what you have to do. So you get used to it. But whenever you relaunch, it might actually not work. You have to completely remove Chrome from your recent apps and relaunch it again. So if I should open my uh, tab here, you will see I have this uh, nice looking box by the side. So if I should open another tab and open in my tabs again, you see I have this, uh, I'm having this grid layout. If I should open another one, I'm having a grid layout. So how to make a tab group is you drag one tab into the other, like this. Now I've created a group tab, you can drag this one into it also. So if I should open this tab now, you see, I now have another tab. So if I should open my Chrome flag, you see at the bottom, I now have uh, three tabs. There's a bottom two here. You can easily switch between tabs from here. And that's the nice thing about group tabs too. It makes your work fast and organized. You can easily open a new tab from this uh, plus button by the side here. You can easily open a new tab very fast and convenient. You can also scroll between tabs. You can go back to my Chrome flags, go to a new tab. So let's say let's go to allroundreview.com here. So it's fine to load. Okay, here we have it. Let's see, my nice looking website. You can go back to my Chrome flags, around review, new tab. So you can actually have more than one group tab at a time. You can just open a new group here and another one. Then drag it into this one. You see, I now have a group tab, another group tab. So that's it. You can switch between your group tabs whenever you want. You can close any one you want. It makes things very organized and nice. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys here is a dark uh, mode for websites. So let me open my Chrome flag. Let me actually make a new group tab here. So if I should go to my new tab and uh, open orumreview.com, as you can see here, this website is actually on a light team. It's still white, in as much as my Chrome is dark, it's just for the app. So you can go to your Chrome flags and search for dark. So you will see uh, this option that comes up first: dark mode for web contents. It automatically render all web contents using a dark team. So I will enable mine here with a selective inversion of everything. I feel this looks better. It has a better color science on most websites. You can select any one you want. And if you like them, you can just leave them like that. So I'm going to relaunch here again as usual. Close and relaunch. So if you notice, my flag page is already a little bit darker than it was before. To show you it's working. If I go back to allroundreview.com, as you can see, everything is now dark, not like the white theme I had before. 
Man, nice for the eyes all looking nice so that's it about dark web pages guys so the next thing on the list i'm going to show you guys is um preview tabs <clears throat> it's a very good awesome a very good feature i use every day it's very nice so all we do here is go to your chrome flags again and type preview tab preview tab There is it. Okay, so this is our first option here. Tab using the preview tab using the bottom sheet. That's what we're going to enable. Enable. So if uh, we launch again. So now let's say we'll go to allroundreview.com. We'll going through this website. Looks nice and all. And you see a post you want to, you know, <coughs> have a sneak peek on, but you don't entirely want to have a new tab or leave the current page you're on. You can just long click, click on that article. Now we have this uh, nice looking uh, preview page button here. You can just click on that. Then if you look at the bottom, we'll have, we'll have a loading. So that's what preview page preview tab actually does. It has this uh, overlay over the current page you're on. So if you just drag that up, you have that tab completely opened for you on an overlay. So you can just drag it down and continue with the web page you're working on. Or you drag it up, just continue reading, or you dismiss it completely by dragging it down and it goes away. You can also do it for another post anything at all so that's it for preview tab so the next thing i'm going to show you guys here is a uh, word search if um, i'll just call it word search it's not a chrome flag but it's a future on chrome that i figured out not everybody knew about recently so what it does is once you tap on any word in chrome you can actually have you have this uh, the word you highlighted at the bottom of the screen with the J sign by the side. Just drag it up. You will see it's already tr translating the words and making searches for you. If that's what you wanted, so <coughs> that's Google for you. You can highlight a sentence, multiple words, search. It does the same thing. So looking very nice. See, it's giving me COVID a lot. Highlighted COVID here. So that's it for word search. So there's something else I want to show you guys. It's not actually Chrome, Chrome flag too, but if you go to settings, you have the um, accessibility features. You can enable first. Uh, enable zoom on any website not a website zooms but if you enable this you can zoom on any website so it makes things easy and cool if you want to zoom in, in a web page you can so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it do well to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also visit our website or around review.com all right that's it for this video see you guys in the next one peace out